Hello, everybody, and welcome to Playframe, where we are going to play Just Shapes and Beats. <laughs> hey everybody, my name is Dan, and uh, we're playing this game because I love it, and I want as many people as possible to know how cool it is. It is one of my new favorite games. This has been in the works and getting shown at, like, PAXs and MAGFests for years now, and I have been so impatient for it ever since I first saw it uh, at PAX, and... Now it's finally here, and it is great, and I want you all, <laughs> I want you all to get to experience it. Now, I'm gonna play a little bit of the story mode here, and uh, it, th this is really a rhythm shmup game, and I'll get into it more, but there is a story mode, and I'm gonna play a bit of that here. There's a couple of points where I'm going to recommend, uh, as we play, stopping and going and picking up the game yourself. Like, if you, if what you see looks cool, go ahead and stop and pick it up yourself because there are lots of little great surprises that I don't want to take away from you. Uh, and I'll give you some warnings when before those big points are coming up. We're only going to play an episode or two of this because uh, if, for, if for no other reason than the fact that I'm probably going to get content ID'd on every single bit of music in this game, but I don't care if I can't monetize this. I must spread the message of this great game. So here we go. Story mode. All right. I am the square. This game is a rhythm shmup. Uh, shoot him up. And this game is all about dodging. It's about surviving to the end of a song. This here is the tutorial. So you might have already figured out kind of how this game works already. You got to dodge the pink stuff. These pink obstacles. Uh, the pink obstacles are spawned and caused by the music, or rather, they uh, they all happen in time to the music, which is what which is what makes this a rhythm shmup. By the way, uh, photo sensitivity seizure warning to anybody for whom that is a concern. Giving you the heads up on that right now, because it's not going to get any better <laughs> than this. Okay, well. It will probably get worse than this in places, is what I mean to say. Just so, giving you the heads up. So yes. By the way, in addition to just moving my little block around, you don't actually shoot in the shoot 'em up uh, but you can dodge. There is a little kind of invincibility roll uh, dash that you can use as many times as you want. With it, I can dodge right through this bullet if I could actually hit it. <laughs> but uh, anyway. Whew. Oh, got hit. Oh well. You can take a few hits before you lose. If you are as into rhythm games as I am, you are probably seeing and hearing this, and you can already tell exactly why I love this. Because the music is all very, very good. And the animation of the uh, obstacles that can hit you is also great. You can use this dash, by the way, to get through obstacles. I think I already said that, but now I can actually show you. Let's see here. Getting through. <laughs> Alright, gotta dash through this stuff here. Whoop. Oh yeah, got some little birds showing how to get through. <laughs> if you are not into shmups, that is okay. I am not either. Uh, this game is pretty beginner-friendly when it comes to difficulty on shmups. And you're not even having to shoot, it's just dodging. And in fact, this is a co-op uh, shmup as well. You can play locally or online with four people. And uh, it makes it in a way even easier because, like, see I'm losing health, more and more of my little box is going away as I get hit. If I, here in this story mode, uh, lose all those little chunks, then I have to go back to the last checkpoint. If I'm playing with people, then uh, they can kind of come and help and save me if I run out of health. And, uh, some of these end levels get pretty darn hard, so... Let's see here. By the way, if you are already digging this music, uh... The creator of the game, uh, one of the creators of the game, put up a big, uh, Spotify playlist that has all the music he put in the game. Which includes some hits from, uh, Big Giant Circles, good old Jimmy Henson. I love this game so much, this is great. 
Uh, also, uh, the bulk of the music comes from uh, Danimal Cannon, who is an excellent electronic kind of chiptune, chip beat uh, artist. He's got some great albums out there that you can go ahead and pick up, some of which include songs in this game. Uh, he's also one of the guitarists for Metroid Metal. He is an exceptional guitarist. I think this one's by him, this particular song. Yeah, this game is full of great music. All right, so we beat the tutorial. We did it. And we will we'll do a few levels and a few songs of this. And then, uh... Just so you can get an idea of uh, some of the fun little beats you can enjoy in this game, which is exclusively shapes and beats. We'll do, uh, we'll do the, the next two of these little levels here. Uh, the third of which I believe, or maybe the one that comes after. Okay, no, we'll do a few levels here. Before we get to a boss, there are boss fights in this. That is the first point at which I'm going to recommend. If you are already digging the look of this, then, uh, just stop watching and go pick it up and play it. Because it's too great. It, it is available on Switch and PC. I think it's only like 20 bucks. And it is so worth it. One of my favorite indie games in recent memory. Yikes. <laughs> like, as soon as you can get to one of those little dotted lines, <laughs> as soon as you can get to one of those little dotted blue lines, that's when you know you've hit a checkpoint. So if I uh, run out of health, it'll zip me back to the last one of those I passed. I think three or five times before lo before I lose the level entirely. So they're they're very generous with the difficulty on this for a shmup. The great music helps, but like I'm I'm not a shmup person, and I I don't feel intimidated by this game. It's it gets hard sometimes, but it's hard to get mad when you're jamming this much. I just love so much having all these obstacles timed to the music. Eh. <laughs> oh no. Bad, bad, bad way. Bad spot to be. Bad place. Whoa. Hmm. If I had anybody else here in town to play this with, I totally would be doing co-op right now. Assuming you can. I don't know if you can in the story. Ah! Oh. <laughs> so near the end and I died. Shameful. It's harder to do this and talk. As with most games. But yeah, your controller kind of rumbles in time with stuff. It's very... Kind of similar to, like, Rez and these other sort of uh, rhythm-type games. Like, I I'm the kind of person who is... Who, like games like Rock Band were made for. Like Guitar Hero, I fell in love instantly. Rock Band was a huge part of my life. But even stuff like the music levels in Rayman Legends, uh, Rock Band Blitz, like uh, any sort of rhythm game, I tend to be on board with. So this sort of game. Even in a genre I, that is not, like, one of my- a favorite of mine. Like, I don't tend to get into shmups at all. But I love this. Honestly, I just love looking at a lot of these levels. Like, the animation- the simple animation of a lot of these, uh, obstacles and things that can hit you is not only really varied from level to level, uh, but it's just a really appealing snap and bounce to a whole lot of them. They're, like, whoever animated all this stuff did a fantastic job. Oh, look at this. It's like, how, how can you not have fun? Eh.
Eh. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> oh, this game just makes me smile a lot. And so I <laughs> I pestered the devs and the people showing this at PAX and Magfest for years, <laughs> asking when this was coming out and uh, asking if I could get like a code, a demo code for it to show it off and try to hype it up. But uh alas, my efforts failed. But now that it's out, like even if I can't monetize these videos, I... I said I would hype this game, and I'm gonna. Because it's as good as I hoped. Like, if you did happen to see this at PAX or MAGFests or one of the other shows that they showed this at, then you know from seeing it that this game tended to have a pretty decent-sized cluster of people around it all the time, many of whom were kind of bobbing their heads to the rhythm and smiling. And... That is just, I don't know, I, I loved, I loved seeing that sort of shared joy experience on the show floor every time. Also, I just really like, <laughs> I really like Danimal Cannon's music, so in that way as well, this game is very much for me. Eh. Whoa. Watch it. <laughs> okay, this is getting a little more chaotic now. The screen shake and stuff like that also helps to add to this feeling of intensity a great deal. But I'm not complaining, because it also just really makes you feel that rhythm a lot more. <laughs> Again, kudos to whoever animated and kind of uh, programmed in a lot of these obstacles and hazards just because for simple shapes moving around and expanding, they are really appealing. And it is all still like really parsable <laughs> at the same time. It, it feels overwhelming, but you can still sort of follow what's going on and uh, actually navigate and dodge things. Which is really, that's a hard balance to strike. So, okay. Here's the point. If what you have seen so far looks cool, looks like worth $20, and I, I would argue to you that it absolutely is, stop watching right now, go pick it up on PC or Switch. It's great. Have a great time. Then you can come back and watch the rest of this later if you want to. If you're still not 100% sold, like if you're kind of on the fence, let me show you a boss fight. This, uh, this is the boss fight they would demo on the, uh, show floor, and it is what instantly sold me on this game, so. This is also the level that convinced me I needed to go pick up a whole bunch of Danimal Cannon albums, and I did not regret it. Okay, that's not a good start. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're doing all right. Doing all right. Doing all right. Eh. I love this guy. Okay. Nope. I've also played this level a few times, so I kind of know... <laughs> There's a lot of boss fights in this game. And I've learned this one pretty well at this point. So I kind of know... I know most of the places to avoid <laughs> on screen <laughs> at this point. But you get four people in this at once trying to dodge and save each other when somebody gets knocked out and having to go take risky moves to save to save one of their uh, co-op buddies. Ah, it's so good. It's a very good co-op experience.
And it is not over. Ah, nope, nope. Watch it. Nope. Ah, that was closer than it should have been. Ah. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, this game is candy to me. I love it. Makes me so happy. Now, if that has sold you on it, also stop now. Just go ahead and stop right now and go buy it and play it and enjoy it, because now the actual story mode starts in earnest, and it's a pretty charming one. I'm going to play a little bit further, just so you can kind of see the title screen and whatnot. But then we're going to call it an episode, and that's just going to be it for this. I'll... <laughs> I've made my sales pitch. If you're not convinced and this isn't for you, that it's okay. But I hope I've convinced at least a few of you to go pick this up because I want uh, this studio, uh, I want Berserk Studio to succeed. Just look at that. Yep, I was just instantly in love with this game. In fact, hmm, I'm I'm torn. I could go to do one more level. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do any more. I want the rest of you to get to enjoy this. So, uh, there is there are many more great great things to come in this game. So go pick it up if you're interested. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this and want to see more, I'll consider it depending on how YouTube reacts to this upload. Because <laughs> I really... If they just demonetize it, and that's all, and that's fine, and that's it, then I may play more. Because I just love it. Uh, we'll see. Let me know. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you folks next time on Playframe.